seen on and off posts about how people store their floss and I thought I'd show my floss storage system um, really quick. So these are um, Sterilite boxes. They're called Stack and Carry and these are the small boxes. They come in two packs and you can stack them as high as you want. And you see here, it looks like I have three stacks, but this is how they're sorted by their brand. And I actually stack them all on top of each other. So I will just put, you know, I don't always connect them because I keep the brands kind of independent of each other, but I stack them all like this and they all end up in a tower. So on, it goes on the floor right next to my dresser and it stacks all the way up to the top of my dresser. And then I just grab whatever brand I'm looking for. I have my DMC, my Cosmo Tower, I have uh, my um, Overdyed Floss, which I don't have as many, so there are only three. And then I also have this here, which has all of my tools. It's got all my needle minders in there on the bottom. I have extra um, needles and scissors and any other tools I might need for uh, cross-stitching are in this one. So I'm gonna show you really quick the inside of one of these boxes. So let me move one of these out of the way. We'll use my Cosmo here. So this is a sample of a tower that I have for Cosmo and I actually am one tray shy of having the entire set of Cosmo floss in here. You can see from the side, you can see all the colors, which is one thing I've heard people say they like about bobbinating is that they can see all the colors at a glance and this allows you to do that. And if you go to the other side, there's enough room to store extra skeins on the side of the box. So the other box will have that. When you open them up, they're all labeled. You can actually see the numbers right through the box so you know exactly which tray you need. And when you go inside, this is how they look inside. All my floss away bags are just stacked up in here and you can just flip through and just see whatever color you need and just pull what you want. Inside my bags, I do have my uh, floss on these um, acrylic floss keepers and those are also labeled and all my floss is cut and ready to go so I don't have to waste time doing that. So I just pull them, throw them in my project bag and when I'm done with that project I can put all my floss back into its designated spot. It's easy to find, it's easy to care for, the floss stays in great condition, and these can be moved around, they don't go anywhere, everything stays right where it's supposed to stay. And I really like that, and that's um, partly assisted by the fact that I do keep the extra skeins on the side. And underneath what I've done is a little hack for myself, is I've put shelf liner down there, which also keeps them from slipping and sliding if I happen to be digging through um, a box that might not be as full. They're lightweight, they're easy to carry, they are super easy to connect. Like I said, they come in a two pack and you just get however many that you might need, connect them together. And then the whole entire tower is easy to pick up. I can grab and bring my whole set of Cosmo anywhere I need to go. It takes seven of these for an entire set of DMC. So here's my DMC. I actually um, have another row I need to put on the bottom, but you can see they're all in here. You can easily see the colors if you so choose. You can see what numbers are inside so you know which box to grab. And it's not very wide. So it's really, really simple to stack, especially in a small place. Put them all up as high as you need to go and you have all your storage easily accessible and it looks pretty cool. I really love it. So that's how I store my cross-stitching floss.